it is that there is no big idea. Its only virtue is that it has left every section equally disappointed. So the NDA has followed its own brand of budget making, which is just housekeeping and accounting. Thanks to the crash in oil prices, that required hardly any effort. The government boasts that it earned more tax revenues than it had budgeted at the beginning of the year. <coughs> Did they collect more corporation tax? No. Did they collect more income tax? No. What they collected more was excise duties. It is a whopping increase of rupees 54,334 crore. That amount was due to the numerous times the government increased excise duties on petrol and diesel after the budget was presented last year. I'm also happy that the government has spurned the advice of the chief economic advisor and stuck to its own fiscal consolidation path for 2016-17. I take it as a vindication of the UPA government's policy declared after adopting the Vijay Kelkar <coughs> Committee's report on fiscal consolidation. I'm happy that the UPA schemes are being continued, but the crucial signal is price. The budget speech makes no promise of a fair and remunerative MSP, nor is there any major initiative to increase productivity in crucial crops. There is no major relief to the taxpayer or the middle class or the small and medium business person. The reduction in the corporate tax rate for a very limited class from 30% to 29% is laughable. 